taking a quick look at these saltwater fishing swivels. Um, these are just meant to go in line with the tackle when you're fishing for the very large saltwater fish. I think these are 800 pounds, this is like a 500 pound, these are 300 pounds. So they're meant to, to reel in really uh, big fish. Um, but they think they're going to work really well for key ring attachments. So um, I noticed these, one of our sponsors is a tackle and archery shop and we, uh, I noticed these last time I was in so I grabbed a few to, to work with on my tools like this. So for example I got this uh, Gerber um, shark cut here and uh, just to make it a little easier when I'm grabbing it or when it's sitting in the pocket so it doesn't get bound up I, I added the swivel so it just lets this piece of 550 cord swivel um, whereas if I did that with this other one you know it would twist up not that it's a big deal but every once in a while you know they just kinda get tweaked in your pocket or something you have to reach in and adjust it this just alleviates the problem I also think it's kind of neat because it acts sort of like a bead there. If I had these in the pack or something at the same time, I could reach in and just with feel know I'm getting the scissors and not the pliers. Um, turns out they work great for these Swiss keys. You can just attach it right on there, have this on your key ring or something, and then you've got it right there. Uh, easy to remove and get back on, but then instead of you know being sort of rigid on your key ring, it allows it to swivel with again no weight really and almost no cost. I don't know if I mentioned I bought all six of these for under ten dollars so they weren't real expensive not even two dollars for the big largest ones. Um, I think they're gonna work real well on these small um, tools. Uh, not that it's a big deal but again this one doesn't have the swivel on there and every once in a while they'll just kinda get jammed up in your pocket and it's just kind of annoying. So I think it'll just alleviate that. I think it'll work well on these sharpeners. Uh, basically just put a little split ring there and then attach it and still use the 550 for this one for example a small bench made one I like to use the 550 to hold the rest of the you know to hold the sharpener and get some more grip on it but this way if when I'm switching from hand to hand um, it'll just make it a little easier to use I think the swivel will work great on Swiss Army knives as well because of the split ring all I'm doing is putting the swivel on and then attaching my 550 to the other side of the swivel and it looks nice in black and everything and again super strong but it'll allow it to just not bind up every once in a while these get kind of bound up I was hoping it was going to work well with these type of uh, multi-tool but it's the rings are just a little bit too small for it to close I imagine with a pair of pliers though I could probably get one to close and then it would make a nice attachment point for this type of plier or multi-tool last up I thought it would work well again with a split ring for a uh, whistle like this for a key ring if you don't like the look of 550 it gets you away from 550 with a couple of split rings anyway real simple little uh, gadget um, another use for it besides fishing would be on a key ring